welcome back to Animal Smackdown. Here we are still at um, round one, and we have the 15th episode or matchup. But I'm going, before we do our prehistoric, I'm going to say our laziest was the last one with the sloth and the koala. I'm just reviewing the last one. Prehistoric is our, and baddie is our new one. Now let's see who gets the title of prehistoric baddie. It is going to be hard since to, since prehistoric animals are hard to get facts about. But we haven't even told you the two competitors. They are the Quetzalcoatlus and the Supercroc. Now some facts about the Quetzalcoatlus. The Quetzalcoatlus is the largest flying bird weighing in at a heavyweight at 400 pounds and used its mega beak to terrorize prey. But how can it compete up against the Super Croc? Speaking of Super Crocs, let's get to the stats of it. The Super Croc has weighs in at around nine tons. That is heavier than an African elephant and as heavy as a small whale. They also have a gigantic bite force of 12 tons, which is twice the bite force of T-Rex and twice the weight of an elephant. Now, let's go to the stats of the two creatures, the first being the Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus can measure 15 feet 16 feet or 5 meters long and a wingspan of 36 feet or 11 meters long. And they live present day North America. Now before we go to the super croc, let's look at the pictures. And I'm also reminding you that both of these are not real pictures. Because scientists do not have p real pictures of super crocs or kids of Atlas because they are prehistoric. That's the first picture of a Quetzalcoatlus, and this is the third picture of a Quetzalcoatlus. Now, let's get some Super Croc stats up. They can reach a length of 40 feet or 12 meters and live in present-day Sahara, south of the Sahara Desert. Now, before we go to the winner, we're just going to do some pictures and then the winner. Okay, so those are some pictures of their mouth, but a lot of sharp, sharp teeth. But then those there's are the, are the scales. And remember, those are not real pictures because scientists do not have any just, real pictures of super crocs. Yeah. And Except right. they are very good drawings. It seems fair so to say that, su that super croc would have literally crushed the competition so that means super croc is the winner of this animal battle but why is super croc this winner well we are going to tell you because what it would do we would literally if it got to ketokawatla's limbs it would literally snap them in half so he could <laughs> not fly and then he would drown ketokawatla and rip him into pieces with those teeth and the huge long mouth and that gulping throat with huge body. But thank you, and we are going to give our last preview. Actually, now, after our last show, we're going to go into round two. And now our last preview is between this the best companion. Between the cat, cat and, and the dog. dog. So we'll see you next time there. Subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up both in the comments down below and leave a comment. And please watch more videos of ours on our channel.